Hi gamers! So I've witnessed some terrible things in Final Fantasy XIV in the over 4,000 hours I've been playing. Things that I can't even repeat here. Eorzea is a cruel place, and our beloved Warrior of Light is just one more tragedy away from a complete psychotic break. But perhaps the most terrible, unspeakable thing I've seen is my own war pig dumping half his inventory on the ground to make room. Now, I'm not one to tell people how to enjoy the game, and maybe my own tendencies towards hoarding are clouding my judgment on this one, but there are so many things you can do with these items instead of discarding them. Look, I get it. Inventory management can be difficult, with so many things piling up in your bags, which aren't nearly big enough for the slabs of meat and monster bits, let alone the multiple suits of armor and assorted cheeses, fish, and beverages that a hero could end up carrying. So without any further ado, I'm Debbie, and here are five things you can do with the items in your inventory before you discard them. Number one, market board. Okay, it's a best practice to always check the market board first. Sure, chances are that your junk isn't worth a lot, but maybe it is. Maybe it's one of those neglected items that the level 90 champions of the world would rather pay someone else to scrounge up for them rather than gather themselves. It only takes a second to ring up one of your retainers and ask them to check. Just make sure that the price it is being listed for is higher than the vendor sale price or else you're just losing gill. And no one likes to lose gill. That's why you're here. 2. Desynth it if you can. If you have a Disciple of Hand class of at least level 30, you can complete the quest Gone to Pieces in Uldah to unlock Desynthesis. This allows you to break down most weapons, tools, armors, accessories, housing items, and fish, and retrieve some of the materials used to make it, as long as you have unlocked the appropriate class to do so. Each hand class has its own Desynth skill level, which raises as you tear stuff apart. You need to have at least the desynthesis level required of the item, and the closer you are to it, the larger the skill gains. The farther above it you are, the less likely you are to get a skill up. The higher your desynthesis level, the better the chance of getting rarer or higher value items. At first I wasn't sure about it, but now that I know the value of upcycling my inventory, it's become rather addictive. The small bar under your experience bar for your Disciple of Hand class is your Synthesis skill level, so you can check it at a glance. It definitely helps make room in your inventory, as the materials you get from similar items are often the same and usually stack. Plus, they might sell a bit higher than the item itself on the market board, as the materials can likely be used to make several different things. 3. Domen Restoration Okay, so this might be a bit out of reach yet for some people, but as you're going through the Stormbelt expansion, you unlock the Dome and Enclave and its restoration project. No spoilers, but they are looking for some kind donations to put their city back together. In return, any items you give them they will pay above vendor value for. You get greater returns as you go through these quests, but you'll receive anywhere from 120% to 200% of vendor value for your items. If it doesn't or can't sell on the market board, and you don't want to or can't desynth it, turn it in here. You're at least getting more than you would from a vendor, and you're contributing towards a good cause. There is a weekly donation gill limit, however, but that doesn't stop you from maxing it out each week in the name of a cleaner inventory. 4. Grand Company Expert Delivery Missions Depending on your priorities, dungeon and raid weapons and armor that isn't sellable on the market board can usually be turned into your Grand Company Personnel Manager, under the Expert Delivery Missions. If you don't really want the gill and don't want to desynth it, why not get some company seals for it? You can use these seals to purchase new weapons and armor that would work better for you, or furniture items, minions, consumables, ventures, and if you get your rank high enough, even crates that contain a random mount or minion. Maybe it's not a fortune in gill, but it's still better than leaving it abandoned on the side of the road for someone to trip over, isn't it? And finally, oh come on, you know by now I'm going to say it. I always say it. Subscribe to my videos to see them when they get released, and like and comment if this information has finally helped you come to your senses and abandon your littering ways. Number 5. Sell to any vendor. That's right! Instead of just discarding things to make room, go to a vendor and sell what you can. 
Even those pennies you'll get for it will take care of a teleport or two, and it will give you the satisfaction of knowing that it will at least be refurbished and resold to a budding new adventurer somewhere. Or at least that's what I believe. Now occasionally you'll come across the item that can't be put up for sale on the market board, can't be decinched, can't be turned into your grand company, and can't be sold to a vendor. Sure, toss those things if you want. Usually you can pick them up again if you need them from a calamity salvager. But that's another video. Oh, and I suppose as a fallback to all of this? Just do what everyone else does and plop all of it into your chocobo saddlebags or any retainer you have with spare space in their inventory. And if they're all full, purchase more retainers from the Mog Station. And once they're full, start using your free company chest to transfer it to an alt with empty retainers. And uh, once they're all full, you cry silently into your pillow, wondering why you have this problem. Okay, maybe I'm not the best person to be giving this advice, but I hope it helped. If you want to hang with me live, check me out on Twitch. Otherwise, I'll see you in game, gamers. <laughs>